So today's flight is within the Hawaiian Islands and it's going from the Hui, which is in the island of Kauai, to its neighboring island of Oahu, to the Honolulu Airport. It's a short 100 mile flight as the crow flies. We're in the $27 million Cessna Citation Longitude. So let's get this thing configured. Let's turn up the panel lights. A little bit of flood light so I can see what's going on. It is rainy and overcast. And the barometric pressure is uh, definitely different right now. So let's accurately depict that. I believe I picked it up as 2983. Yep. Let me zoom out a little bit on this map. That's the uh, departure route that we're going to take out of Lehui. Now I'm just double checking the flight plan and all the different waypoints that we'll be flying. And we're going to set up a few other things. Speed bugs and uh, check out the weather radar. It's, uh, there's a lot of rain out there, a lot of clouds. And we'll try to be above the clouds at the beginning, but we're going to have to descend through the clouds on our way down to Honolulu. We'll be using RNAV as our instrument uh, procedures here. I turned on the DI sync because it, uh, it'll probably get cold. It, we're going to be traveling at flight level uh, uh, 7,000, so it's cold enough to get to get icy up there. And I just set the wind indicator on the primary flight display as well as the angle of attack. Turn on my map light to give it a little more ambient light. There's the DI sync I have turned on already. And what else do I need to do here? Okay, let's turn on the auto brakes. The flaps are in the first notch. That's where we want it. Let's release the parking brake. And let me sit up in the seat a little bit. And let's go. See, it's raining now, and hopefully we can get above the clouds out of the rain, at least for our part of the the, uh, the cruise. Here we go. Looks like a positive rate of climb. The landing gear is going up. Welcome back. You can ignore the landing gear warning. It's uh, it's when I significant, significantly cut back on the throttle, almost to idle, then you get that warning. Uh, but we're get settling into auto throttle now and uh, the autopilot. So we'll, we'll get stable and we'll continue the flight. So we're on our way up to 7,000. Leveling off now. We're above the rain and barely above the clouds. I'm anticipating a smooth flight until we get down into the clouds. If you look in the navigation map, we are joining up with the navigation course 
on the way to the first waypoint. And you can see the intended course on that map. And we're going to bank a little bit more to the right and join up with that that route. So we're at 7,000 feet. It looks like we're barely above the clouds. Once we get to our first waypoint, I'll start our descent, which means we'll go into the clouds. And it'll get a little bumpy. Not too bad, though. I'm hoping. Zoom in here on the primary flight display. Now you can see the full route from Kauai is where we departed from and the island of Oahu is where we're headed. We got a little bit of shaking going on. So I went ahead and set our altitude to 3600. It's not going to descend yet until I activate that altitude. You can see the 3600 on the primary flight display. Trying to get different viewpoints from within inside the cockpit. So our current speed is 268 knots at 7,000 feet. And we're approaching, we passed the first waypoint. All the way to book is the next waypoint. So let's descend. So we have it set for 3600. I'm gonna press the flight control, flight level control button. I'm sorry, flight level change button. And that will change our altitude, altitude to the set altitude of 3600 that, that I did earlier. So now we're descending at a 2500 minus 2700 feet per second. What the flight level change button does is that it'll it'll bring you to your desired altitude while maintaining your current or, or set uh, uh, speed. Our descent's going to take a few minutes so in the meantime, enjoy some music and some cool views going in and out of the rain clouds.
Welcome back. I hope you're enjoying the flight so far. We are now turning into our final approach into Honolulu. We have slowed down to 185 knots and we're at 3100 feet. Uh, the slowdown in, in their speed triggered the uh, uh, landing, gear. landing gear warning, landing so gear. that's the reason landing. for that. Let's bring it on down to about 165 knots. We can see Oahu right here in front of us. And let's bring our altitude down a little bit more to uh, the approach plates indicate a level of 1940 to, uh, to start following the glide path. But I'll just go to 1900 because I don't believe on this on this uh, instrument you can go 1940. I think they're just hundreds is the smallest unit. And you can see the nav map. We're getting close to the coast of Oahu. I think we're going to have some weather attempting to land in Honolulu. Landing here. Landing here. Landing here. Landing here. Landing gear. Landing gear is coming down. Turning on approach mode for the RNAV to help bring us down along the glide path. I'm going to help us down a little bit faster by going to the vertical speed mode where I can tell it how fast I want it to descend in feet per second. I'm sorry, feet per minute. So look at, look at the rain. It's coming down. Hopefully we'll make it there in one piece and not crash into a mountain or something. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty thick. Pretty much zero visibility right now. And we're about 2,500 feet right, right now, 2,000 feet or so. And it looks like we have, uh, we have a following on the glide path now. So we've got that part locked in. And our descent will be controlled by the autopilot. We're still, still at 165 knots. Once we get down close and I can see the once I can see the runway visually uh, I will disengage both the auto throttle and take control of the throttle as well as uh, disengage the autopilot and uh, manually hand fly it in but not until I see see the runway lights and uh, we're close to the edge of the runway which is probably going to be about 500 feet. Now on the primary flight display you could see it can see the runway. I can't see it right now. It's too too overcast, too foggy. Hopefully we'll see it. I think the minimums here are like 480 feet. So if I don't see the runway by then I may have to abort the landing and do a go around. The rain's coming down hard now. Wow. Just when I want to land. 500, 500 feet now. Still can't see the runway. There it is. Wow. We were like just under minimums. OK. 
Okay, so autopilot is off. I have control. Three reds, three whites and one red. I'm a little high. Now I got four whites on the pappy. The pappy is saying I'm too high, but I'd rather be too high than too low. Yeah, that wind, we have a crosswind coming from our right, so it's pushing me to the left off the runway. Let's see if I can bring it down on here. All right. Front uh, back wheels down. Front wheels down. Let me reverse thrust to help stop us. Oh, I need to stay on the runway first. Don't want to have a decent landing and then run off the edge of the runway and crash. That's that's not good. So now I got to figure out the taxiway paths here in the room, the taxiways. Okay, there we are on the ground. I missed the one taxiway, so I've got to go down toward the end. Let's. There's we're crossing one of the runways. So there's the end of this runway. We need to exit to the left, I believe. Here we go. We'll just go to the first terminal building that we find. I'm not doing the formal, you know, asking ground control where the where we should park and whatnot. I'm just gonna gonna pull in and park. So let's kind of do a little housekeeping here. Let's turn off our landing lights. Turn off the turn on the taxi lights and bring our flaps all the way up. over a couple of runways and oops I did not look left or right before crossing that runway but I am now for this runway not that I would see anything in this cloudy conditions and rainy conditions but better safe than sorry so okay we've we've cleared all the runways and we're heading down the taxiway to the main terminal Still got a light rain coming down. to the to the gates let's get an external view here oh we made it down in one piece as they say if you're able to walk away from a landing it's a good landing but if you're able to fly the same airplane the next day it was a great landing. So I think we checked those two boxes. All right, we have a car coming to the left, a truck. Uh, I guess I'll turn off here. Don't want to hit that truck that's crossing the taxiway up, uh, up there. Oh, he's coming my way. Uh oh. He's speeding up. <laughs> Alright, 
let's just park that uh, jetway the gate to our left let's get back in here it's nice and dry So afraid it was when I pull into gates that I'm going to give it too much thrust and not be able to stop too much for the brakes. <laughs> That's why I'm crawling along here. Typically, you'd have the uh, ground crew telling me, you know, when to stop. I'm on my own for this flight, at least. Okay, let's uh, start cleaning up here. Turn off the flight director. Let's uh, start turning off all the lights. That's already off. Turn off our anti-icing. Map light. Nothing to do there. Parking brake is set. Flaps are up. That is inoperative. Let's open this cover, plastic cover. Open this protective cover and shut down the two engines. All right. Let's go back and turn off our battery power. Sorry about jumping around here. Getting a little too, too trigger happy with the view controls here. Okay, turn off the batteries. External, we don't need external power, so let me turn that off. Okay, everything shut down. Let's see where we are. Let's do a quick, uh, quick overview of Honolulu International Airport. Looks a bit quiet. At least the rain has stopped. And there we are. All in all, the flight time in the air was probably around uh, 20, 23 minutes, 25 minutes. Thank you for watching and thank you for flying with me.